This is a common use case for Cisco ACI multi-site, where a tenant is migrated or imported from Cisco ACI fabric to Cisco ACI multi-site. This use case is targeted for brownfield to greenfield and greenfield to greenfield type deployments. Using multi-site, import an existing tenant from one site and stretch it across two sites. As you can see in site one, there is an existing tenant named tenant import. In site two, this tenant does not exist. In site one, create an application profile. Within this application profile, create an EPG. In multi-site controller, click tenants and in work pane, choose tenant import. In the associated sites section, check the checkboxes to add two more sites. In this example, the tenant is stretched from San Jose to San Francisco and New York. Click Submit. In Site 2, search for Tenant Import and you can see it has been imported. But it doesn't have an application profile associated with it. Using Multisite, you can associate the tenant with all of its configurations and stretch it from Site 1 to Site 2. To do this, create a new schema. Enter a name for the schema, add a tenant and choose tenant import from the drop down list. Click import and choose San Jose, as this is the original site where tenant import resides with all of its configurations. Choose the application profile and EPG to import as well. For the EPG, if you turn the include relation shift to off, it will not import its child objects. By default, the switch is set to on. Click OK. You can see that Site San Jose shows the application profile and EPG. Configure this tenant further by adding a bridge domain and a VRF. Click Save. To stretch this tenant to other sites, click the Add Sites icon. Choose San Francisco and click Confirm. Click the added site and you can see the tenant with all its configurations has been stretched to this site. Click the template name, Deploy to Sites, and OK. In Site 2 you can see that the application profile and EPG has been stretched to this site. Since this was created using multi-site, you see this message within APIC stating that it was derived from multi-site and that it recommends to only make changes using multi-site. Similarly, in Site 1, you can see that this object is now a multi-site managed object. For more information on Cisco ACI multi-site, go to CiscoAPIC Docs.